What's going on guys? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to find a winning product to sell for Q4. My objective is by the end of this video, which will hopefully be about 10 minutes long, I will have shown you two, if not three, really great products that you can go out there and start selling today. I'm also gonna show you how to identify and pick a winning product also. I feel like that's where most people kind of fall at that first hurdle. They'll misrepresent the data or the information behind a product and end up selecting the wrong one. So to give you kind of two examples, where people kind of make the mistake is order numbers on AliExpress. So people will go into AliExpress, they'll see a product that has thousands of orders and just assume it to be a great product to drop ship, but that's not always the case. And the reason for this then is if we take a look at similar web, we've got AliExpress loaded up here in the top left, we can see that the top countries by traffic are Brazil, US, Spain, France, and Russia. Buying behaviors can change drastically from country to country. So just because a particular website is getting a significant amount of orders, it doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna make a great product to drop ship to say here in the UK. Something else to consider is that AliExpress are selling their products to the end user. So the end user is paying the price on AliExpress. We need to make a margin on that. So if we take this product as an example, it's two pound 28, but it's got over five and a half thousand orders. So it must be a good product to drop ship. However, I would advise steering well clear of this and I challenge anybody watching this video to try and sell this product profitably because us as dropshippers, essentially as middlemen, our job is to be able to sell it for what the price is on AliExpress plus I would advise at least 20 pounds. So in order to sell this successfully, we would have to sell it for at least 25 pounds, I'd say, which is gonna be extremely difficult to do given the type of product that it is and that you can go to your local Wilco or supermarket and probably buy this for the price you see on the screen here for two or three pounds. So anyway, with that being said, let's try and find some winning products. So the tool I wanna to show you today is called Dropper Spy. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, just wanted to get that out of the way. Um, I don't have a link for you to go and sign up. It is just genuinely a great tool and I use it myself a lot. You'll see that as I have my own pre-built filters and things set up. Essentially what it allows you to do is to find Facebook ads which have a significant amount of engagement. In fact, there's quite a lot of different pieces of criteria which we can change to, to manipulate the results that come back. So to give you an example, then this is the Dropper Spy home screen. We're on the ads tab. Um, let's just refresh it to start from the beginning. And what we're gonna go ahead and do and click filters. Rather than go through these one by one though, I'm just gonna select my pre-built filter, which is called Jack. And what this is gonna do is manipulate the actual ad results that come back to me. If we now click on filters, I'll just take you through the ones that I use in case you want to replicate them. In my opinion, they're just the ones that are gonna take you the fastest to the best performing Facebook ads. And of course, once we find the Facebook ad, we can see the product. So the countries I typically focus on are the US, Australia, Canada, UK, and New Zealand. The typical kind of English speaking countries. If I can find a product that's selling well in these countries, then the chances are it's gonna sell in um, other English speaking countries or the UK if I wanna focus on the UK as an example. Everything else stays the same until I get down to the e-com platform. So you can select Shopify here as an example. This is only gonna bring up the Facebook ads which are redirecting to a Shopify store. This is really important because because if somebody's selling a product on Shopify, then you can see the best selling products of that Shopify store if you have the correct Chrome extensions, and the chances are they're probably drop shipping too, which means you'll then be able to find the product on AliExpress or via your agent or wherever it may be. The CTA, the call to action I'd like to go for is shop now. What that's gonna do is filter out anybody who isn't selling a product or service basically. People who use the shop now button on their ads are obviously selling a physical product. So it just makes the results that come back a lot more higher quality and relevant to us as drop shippers. This is where DropSpy is worth its weight in gold though, in my opinion. Um, you get to change and manipulate the amount of likes, shares and comments of a Facebook ad that gets shown to you. So typically, I'll start at sort of 500, see what comes back, increase it, see what comes back and increase it. And obviously the higher you put this, then the more established and the more traction certain Facebook ads have. Because we're on a time frame and I'm trying to find some really great products for you in this video, what I'm gonna do is just ramp this straight up to a thousand each um, and see what see what comes back in our search results. If you didn't notice in the background, it's already updating in live time. 
Just as a bit of a side note, if you're already watching this video and you've got an established Shopify store at the top here, we can manipulate results using keywords. So up here, for, for instance, we could put dog, and then in the background, if we just take a look, we can see these different kind of dog related products that have come back to us. However, in this video, we're not gonna be fussy. We're just gonna go for things that have great engagement. So starting at a thousand all round then, a thousand likes, a thousand shares, and a thousand comments. Let's see what we've got. I'm gonna be pretty harsh when it comes to the actual product selection because I'm thinking in terms of products that I'll easily be able to source from AliExpress. I'm gonna stay away from sort of high tech expensive products like this one on the top right. I'm not interested in print on demand because it's not gonna to be too quick or too um, simple to get started in, especially if you're a beginner trying to make the most of Q4 coming up. Um, I usually steer clear of beauty products myself because they don't really interest me, um, but straight away I can see this and I already know what this product is because I've seen it before. Um, and I know it's a great product. So basically when I'm going through, there's a couple of different things I'm looking at. Obviously what the actual ad creative is itself. I'm also looking at this headline because this will give you kind of um, a hint at what the product is. But then I'm also looking at these dates and engagement numbers here. So this date here, the last seen date, this is a really important date because it will show you the last seen date. So what this tells you is if this ad is still active and if it's still active, then you know it must be making money. Nobody pays to run ads for a significant amount of time if they're not making money. So from what the, on this point onwards, what I'll do is I'll just right click details and open it up in a, neat, in a new tab. Um, and we'll come back to that in a second. Let's keep scrolling down there and see what we can see. I've seen these gloves before. Um, I'm not a big fan of them, to be honest. They tend to stay away from stuff like that. I'm just gonna move this volume down so I don't deafen people and see what it is. Looks like a pretty cool, looks like some sort of medieval weapon, to be honest, that people are using to stream things. It's got a really nice video. It shows pretty quickly that sort of before and after effect, which is really great for getting engagement. So all in all, a pretty decent product. So I'm gonna bring up the details for that one too. Uh, let's see if we can find one more then, just in case one of them um, doesn't come back as a good one. I've covered Twinkling Tree. This is a great product. I'm not gonna cover it in this video though, because anybody who watches my videos every day will know I've covered this one already. So let's go for this carrot patch one here, um, which looks good. So it started in February 12th and it's still going strong in October 6th. So there must be something about this ad um, which is performing well. So let's bring up the details of that one. So we have three what look to be good products. There's a couple more checks in which I recommend you do before you jump into any of these. We've checked out the dates already. Let's scroll down to the countries. So we can see this is being sold in tons and tons of different countries. So it's mainly coming from France, Germany, the US, and Bulgaria, which is interesting. So something to always keep in mind when you're building out your dropshipping store. It goes back to that point that I made earlier on in the video from AliExpress. Just because a product has loads of orders um, on AliExpress, which may have come from Brazil or Russia, doesn't necessarily make it a good product to dropship to say here in the UK. So always check out these countries here. But because of how strong the dog market is here, um, I definitely can see this being a great product. Just to confirm though and back this up again before we commit to this product, I always like to bring up the actual post on Facebook and you may have seen me talk about this in previous videos, but what we're gonna check out now is the actual comments. So we're gonna start with most relevant and see if anybody's actually bought this. So Becky here said, my dog absolutely loves this bed. Keep an eye on the actual names of the people buying it as well. If they sound like English American names, that's a great sign. Um, if they're kind of like French or Spanish names, then you know that's where your customer base is and that's where you need to be targeting. Nicole says, would be great if mine's shown up. So. Um, we don't need to take into account that these guys aren't very good at supplying their customers. We just need to see that people are actually buying this thing. Um, so Nicole's definitely bought one, which is good. Loads of people saying, love this, safe and comfortable. So that would indicate that Rose has bought one as well. Um, Gian um, says she loves this dog, is comfortable and safe. Love this so much. I need it a little bigger. Inde says she just ordered mine. So as we can see, um, Edna says she's just got hers yesterday. So there's plenty of evidence there that people were actually buying this product, which is a great sign. Moving on to the second products we found then, we've been over the dates, we know it's current and active, we know the reactions are good, they're strong. We can see in fact that the traffic is 100% from the US, 
um, which is a really um, positive thing because it shows that well, it's really easy to drop ship in the US and we can see what their ideal customer range is, which is basically 40 plus. So let's actually check these guys out on Facebook. And again, we're gonna go through the comments and just make sure that people are actually saying that they're buying the products because just because a Facebook ad has tons and tons of engagement, doesn't necessarily doesn't necessarily mean people are actually buying it. We're looking for evidence. These guys haven't even gone to the extent to create their own ad. We can see there's a logo in the bottom left hand corner being blurred out, but it just goes to show if people are buying this thing, it doesn't even matter. Um, it's all about the product. Looks great. I need this. Um, works great. Great gift. Uh, Brenda says she loves hers, so she's probably bought one. Rhonda says awesome tool, it does an all in one, that was one week ago. Linda says she's just got one, it's awesome, three weeks ago. I need this in my life, I need that, I need one, works like a charm, I want one, love it, need one. So loads of people saying they need it. There's a few people saying they've bought one. See if we can find anybody else. I'm sold, I need one. So there's a few people, to be fair, saying they've bought one, there's significant engagement and it's still current, so I would still consider this a pretty good product. Just to double check, let's go for newest and just make sure there's comments recent. So there was one a minute ago, one two hours ago. Um, Linda, 32 replies. Um, I just got one, it's awesome. So the reason why that's showing up at the top is because there will have been people commenting and bringing that back to the top. 15 hours, one week, one day, one day, one day. So it's still active, so it must be making money, which must make it a proven product. Let's move on to product number three then. Um, probably my favorite product of them all. Uh, started in April, last seen October 6th. It's got loads and loads of reactions, so that's a great sign. It's built very quickly, which means it must be successful. Looking at the countries as well, um, three of the most common ones, which is a great sign because these are three easy countries to drop ship to. And then they have some traffic from Haiti, which is an interesting one. If we take a look at the traffic as well, the age ranges, it's kind of like 20 plus is the most common. This is something you should always test, of course, yourself and Facebook will do this via the breakdowns. Um, but as always, before we consider this and take it off as a great product, we need to check out the comments. So, so far we have at least two very good products, which I would consider. Moving down then, so 11,000 reactions, 4,000 comments, that's incredible, um, and 2,000 shares, that's incredible too. So the average Facebook user has about 200 friends. So every time somebody shares a post, that's potentially up to 200 people which will see it. So if you think 2,000 people have shared this post, they will have reached tens of thousands of people for free and won't have had to pay for that, which is great. So Pat, I've just bought one for his little Shih Tzu. Um, I have a Bichon that loves carrots. Our Goldens love their carrot patch. Just ordered. Dexter loves his carrots. We bought home a new puppy. She loves it already. So there's just tons and tons and tons of people buying this. This is a guaranteed winning product in my opinion. In fact, I might even consider selling this myself. There's just so many people in fact that have bought this. I've never seen this before on a Facebook ad, this many people, but people absolutely love to post pictures of their dogs, um, hence why the dog niche is so popular um, in drop shipping. Let's just double confirm it though and go for newest. Uh, one hour ago, four hours ago. This product is still selling. It's, as long as you do everything right and you have a great Facebook ad like these guys, you have a really good store, um, and obviously you get the whole supply and logistics set up and a high quality product, and I see no reason why somebody can't make money with this product coming up to Christmas. And so with that being said then guys, I think the video's gone a little bit over 10 minutes. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed it though. Hopefully you've stuck with me this long. There's three really good products there, especially that last one. So make sure you switch off YouTube now, get to work building your business, building your carrot dog store, um, get selling that product. And most importantly, if you do, just make sure you come back and drop me a message and let me know how you get on. It's always really good to get comments um, and messages from people to say um, how certain things have helped them out and the results they've been getting. It's just awesome to see. So thanks for watching the video. Make sure you drop a like if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.